Hi there, it's Mark Barnabas, and today we'll talk about the transfer limitation obligation of the PDPA. This is the guidelines from PDPC, uh, last revised in 27 July 2017. I'm not going to go through in great detail, but I'm just going to highlight a few points. So one key point is this, that uh, transferring personal data out of Singapore is not illegal. It is, you are allowed to do that as long as you comply with certain uh, regulations and guidelines which is found here, in these guidelines here. Hi there, Mark Barnabas, your data protection panel, and today we'll talk about the transfer limitation obligation. So right now on your screen you see the advisory guidelines on key concepts of PDPA particularly in the transfer limitation obligation. So it is not that you cannot transfer personal data out of Singapore. It's just that when you do transfers of personal data out of Singapore, you need to comply with certain requirements prescribed under the PDPA. And today I'm going to share a little bit about these conditions as well as to highlight a few cases. So first thing is what are the, uh, comply, uh, what are the points you need to comply? Uh, there you go. Uh, organizations need to provide a standard protection to personal data so that, if when, so that when they transfer, it is well protected. But I would like to point your attention to 19.3. If you go down the document, read it in detail, but I'll just bring your attention to 19.3 that these are the conditions and steps that, uh, that an organization or company must take or are required to take when transferring personal data out of the country. So number one is to make sure that the individual whose personal data is being transferred has been notified and has given consent. So you would have understood about notification and consent from the other learning units. And B, C and D talk about the same thing. The transfer is necessary, the transfer is necessary, the transfer is necessary. Really, in summary, if you're going to read it in greater detail, it's all about your purpose and the real need. Is there a real need for it? The purpose and reasonability of the transfer. If it's required, then of course. Then if it's not, then, you know, why are we transferring overseas? Okay, so it comes back to the purpose of PDPA. Now, how do you check about uh, transfers then? Now another point that you want to be very cautious of because it's very applicable to many companies is the uh, use of third-party apps like Dropbox, Google and so on and so forth because some of these uh, have data centers outside of Singapore. So let me just share one case study with you about a company that has breached PDPA in terms of the transfer obligation and you will understand what I mean. So this company is called Spice Concepts Private Limited. Uh, some of you know this company, in fact I do go there for makan sessions and um, to eat supper once in a while. Now what happened was that Spice Concepts uh, engaged a third party vendor, uh, Novadine, an IT vendor that provided POS services, point of sale services. Now, so what happened was personal data of 148 customers were unfortunately made publicly accessible due to uh, user logging in to the administration of this data, personal data just by clicking on a link. I mean, it's really a mistake on the staff to not be not protect the 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 the, the personal the admin the administrative uh, access for this uh, app. So. It is a big oversight of the company, I felt, because I mean, they were obviously very good at FMB, but they may not be too familiar with uh, PDPA or technology. But that's not our, our, our cause of uh, discussion today. The cause of discussion day today is this company who buys or uses a uh, third party software, a third party app, and today many of us use software as a service and sometimes this software as a service transfers data out of Singapore and we as business owners or practitioners or DPOs need to know this and need to find out because we may be breaching the transfer obligation. So over here Novodyne is a US based POS system and data has indeed been transferred to US. 
and you see this would not be this would not have surfaced if there were if this there wasn't a complaint made. So unfortunately, when there's a complaint made because of the breach, PDPC would investigate and they would investigate all the way and unfortunately, I would say very unfortunately, Spice was then charged for for three counts of breach of PDPA. PDPA. They breached both the they breached uh, the transfer, they breached the protection as well as the accountability obligations. Yes, that's right. Transfer, protection and accountability because they did not have a DPO either. So the point that I want to make here is if you are using third party apps or software, do check. Do do visit and check the privacy policy. Just like here, I'm going to show you the privacy policy of Zoom. They made it very clear that they do transfer data. Look here, if you are a resident of EU or right here, your personal data may be transferred to or stored in the United States or in other countries around the world. So it makes it very clear here that your personal data that goes through Zoom or you have given to Zoom will be transferred to other places. And they mentioned a bit about EEA because GDPR, there are certain rules on transfers as well. So they make here very clear what are all their obligations with regards to transfer. So when you are doing your business, you need to specify some of these in your privacy policy as well, which you will learn in another unit, learning unit. So remember, PDPA has nine obligations and transfer is one of the obligations that can very easily be overlooked. Do not make the mistake that SPICE has made to just simply use a third party without checking. So make sure you check for any international transfers of data outside of the country. And if you want to find out more, you can write to the companies to find out. So this is Mark Barnabas, your PDPA pal. I hope you learned a little bit about the transfer obligation and find out more from your DPO or just write to me and we'll be glad to do a little session with you and your DPO. So have a good day. See you and be safe.